Today I'm going to be reacting to the best Irish TikToks and the best Irish TikTokers. Well, else, crack, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be reacting to Irish TikTok again, episode number two. So the last episode did fairly well in the channel. I'm really happy you guys like this. We're going to do some more. This video is basically going to be me reacting to Irish TikToks and Irish TikTokers and just giving my opinion or just my reaction and stuff. Clean water. Not <laughs> So I have a few TikTokers want to look at today's video. Some that you guys suggested in the last video in the comments. Some girls as well, you know. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good old titty? Uh, not even Radka, he's definitely gay. But let's get straight into it. The first person I'm going to check out in today's video is Carpo. Peter Carpenter himself. A lot of you suggested him in the last video. I never got around to doing him, so not literally doing him. Uh, that would be weird. Everyone who ever talks to me about TikTok is always like, oh, have you seen Carpo? Where are you? <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Hope he's all had a great day today. He's such a peaceful voice. There's a lot of jazz and rice, but it looks really whopper. Let's go. <laughs> what did he say? It looks really whopper. <laughs> Tremendous. Guys. Is Jasmine your missus? Oh my god. Yeah, Carbo, it's just for two weeks. Um, I give you 150 just to mind. Oh, you can keep it. it doesn't bother me. Jesus Christ almighty. Okay, so Carbo, you're famous for your dinner reviews and all that, yeah? That's what got you famous. Yeah. What is for dinner tonight? Mama Sika. <laughs> yeah, I give me salmon and white sauce now, but uh, let's go, Carbo. Who the um, fuck is that? Old Jake would comment, new Jake's gonna stay quiet. A few moments later. 50k followers, happiness, laughter, and positivity. Okay, I'm not gonna judge a book by its cover. I'm gonna actually watch some of the content and we're gonna make up our mind, okay? Also, there'll be a timestamp below, like, on the video or in the description of, like, all the creators we look at today. If you wanna just, like, skip through some of these, because some of them could be boring. Baby! Sugar baby. Right, right, really, really quick. Story time with me, sugar baby. What the fuck? Decided to just start a new class today. Something completely out of my comfort zone. Flaps were born, knees were shaking, anxiety. Who's she looking at? Have a guess. What could possibly go wrong on the fourth day of oh, starting a new fitness class? I'm so invested. I'm about to tell you. <laughs> oh, I went to the toilet and some man walked in on me in the toilet and I was like, oh, I have. Only I would step out of my comfort zone, join a new class, and someone walks into the toilet on your first day. Good. If I'm going to watch the Kardashian, I might as well just go on to keeping up with the Kardashians. I don't even really want to watch the B-Tech version. But no, fair play out there. You know what I mean? All right. So next person, Kino Mahoney. Uh, I don't know how many sex charges he has at the moment. He's all over my fucking Instagram reels. So let's look at some of his newest stuff. This is basically the all about the Bunda guy, by the way. He's all... He loves ours. Would you get back with your ex-girlfriend? So your ex-girlfriend asked you, let's get back together. What are yeah. you doing? I'm not getting back with her, man. We're not doing that again. Yeah. We're not doing that again. We're not Yankee that bastards. Back. No, 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 no. no, we're not doing that again. That was a bad call. No, definitely not, guys. I'm definitely not going to get back with my ex-girlfriend. <sighs> Give me the strength. Sorry, I just hear like Americans. I'm just like, fuck me. Okay, now we're going to get some controversial shit. Do you support abortion? Be oh, Jesus. Support man, abortion. you wouldn't know what you'd find in the streets of Cork. Comments are turned off. Okay. Do you support the abortion? Of course I do. What's your reason, why? Because why should a woman have to, like be denied the right to have an abortion. Like, why should we deny a woman the right to have an abortion if they want to have one? Like, you don't know- What would you say to the people that say it's killing? What would you say to them? Just shut the fuck up. It's like a jelly bean. Like, it's not I love that. I love when people can have like an actual discussion about their beliefs or like their opinions. So what, what would you say to the people who disagree with you? Shut the fuck up, like. I can't believe you even question it. Oh, she has her own channel. Do I wanna- Oh, her tits are out. Steven's green. It's funny seeing another one. Oh, Jesus. I think what Keen needs is, like, people around him who have, like, similar goals, different mindsets, so he can kind of, like, bounce with other people, I think. But, like, Keen's a sound lad. I just think the people he hangs around with are a bit fucking weird, to be honest. So, Jim Flano, I looked at him for the first time in the last video. Some of the stuff was funny. A lot of the stuff was a bit, like, hit or... It was, it was hit or miss for me, personally. I know a lot of you like him. A lot of people in the last video, I said in the last video, like, let me know your favorite TikTokers. And I think a lot of... 85% of people were like, Jim Flano is the best Irish TikToker, so... Tossing or haven't talked to in a while. They make an inside joke. See, I don't like that that sort of TikTok stuff. Where it's like they put up a text and then music and there's no like talking or someone should make bottles of Capri Suns. Comes around. Is this his voice? People are always stressed. No nobody enjoys this. So I can't That's not what I was expecting to sound I'd say like. It, it would just be fucking hilarious. 
Imagine sitting in an exam hall. He reminds me of Seamus Coleman. Like, he looks like Seamus Coleman. I don't know what it is. Okay, so I was told to check out Ryanair. Apparently, apparently, like, their TikTok is just memes. Catch flights, not feelings. Man, I tell you, I've had some near-death experience on Ryanair flights. I can't lie to you. I do this. This is what I do, okay? An airplane company. Jonah, you know I, I kind of, like, I respect it and I kind of like it. The fact that they're like, you know, like they're a company and they're not like being so serious. And they're kind of like taking the piss out of themselves. I kind of like that. But still, at the same time, if you if you want to be respected as a company, you should probably have a good reputation for like what you actually do. You know what I mean? I want more legroom in the fucking flights. Leave the saving the world to the men? I don't think so. If they're driving the plane, we're going down. Like, that's the problem. Female drivers. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, Ginger. Jesus Christ almighty. That is 12 million views. Like, what am I seeing? Okay, comedy mullet boy. All right. I, w I really want this to be funny. I can't lie. I don't see, like, a lot of funny Irish TikTokers. Like, I really do think he died for us. <laughs> what the fuck have I just seen? <laughs> uh, this would be the sort of shit that I would do. I do, like, a skit around, like, current affairs or blah, blah, blah. So I want this to be funny. If it's not, I'm going to cry. No, but it's not funny. At the end of the day, is it? It's serious. <laughs> Fuck me, like, I mean... Uh. Have to record this on my phone. <laughs> Wait, waiter, <laughs> she's drinking milk. Uh. That's slightly odd, but... <laughs> it reminds you of fucking Spencer from iCarly. The mullet is fabulous, by the way. It's a fabulous mullet. It's a fabulous representation of what a yeah, mullet should look like. Good. It's interesting seeing a uh, comedy point of view that I would never uh, go at, if that makes sense. Again, comedy is subjective. It's not like what I find funny is not what you're going to find funny, etc. So it's like, I'm not going to rip into him for like... I, I just, I don't find it that funny. So somebody recommended me Ralph. Never seen him before, but uh, seems like... Uh, <laughs> I mean... Coco or caramel, like he's just, uh, you know. All right, fuck it. Hey, don't be surprised if one day I just. I think the title at this point is really, really reflective of my mood. Irish TikTok makes me question my life choices because, like, what am I watching? <laughs> I'm so curious. Chocolate and cookies though makes me sick. I can't lie to you. If I was doing this in school, I'd probably get bullied. Again, like I'm not gonna hate on no one for like the type of content they make because again, content is subjective. Humor is subjective. Again, not for me. Like it's just, you know, I from Sligo explains everything really. It just, it explains it all. I think what I respect the most about this content is he doesn't give a fuck. Do you know what I mean? He's just doing shit because he thinks it's funny. I fair want to see his first video. Like he's very, f I want to see like what got him into doing this. If that makes sense. Braces, poggers moment. <laughs> Why do I feel like we get odd? Dark humor. Clean water. Not Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, no, fair play to him. I actually don't, I like the content. I, I'm not gonna hate it. It's just, uh, if I was doing that shit in school, I'd be getting fucking fully, like, like bullied, cyber bullied, like, physical bullying, like, it just, uh, that would not work in Limerick, you know what I mean? Um, but fair enough, you know? We've got to see the progression of Ralph McKeown. So, nice. <laughs> Best looking to leave and start. <laughs> so, Arnie Kennedy, I don't think... I've known this woman for a very long time because she did stuff with her granddad, I think, during the first lockdown 2020. B, she, she does stuff with her granddad. And she's not a bad looking, you know, female, you know, not at all. Okay, automatically, I'm kind of drawn towards this. To work, I deserve <laughs> to sip margaritas on a, on a boat being a rich bitch. <laughs> Who said I have to work? <laughs> it's the fucking girl. See, I'd love to have that relationship with my uh, grandfather, but my grandfather has dementia and he's currently in a home, so there's not really much I can do, and uh, the other one's dead, so, you know. I respect anyone that can branch out from what they're doing. Anyone that, anyone that can, like, branch out from their... Oh, this is definitely made up weeks, wasn't it? Anyone that can, like, branch out from just doing what they're doing. Anyone that can, like, branch out of their box, I have a lot of respect for, so that's cool. Like, it takes a lot of um, ingenuity. A little lower down. I'm going to go a little bit lower. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right, found. Oh, yeah, that's it. Middle. It's like he's getting oral, man. That is perfect. <laughs> now, kind of, this, this, this part you had. No, no, not there. Just there. A little bit of this. Just there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
It did sound like he was getting hit off a prostitute, but that's like beyond the point. Oh, they didn't advertise it with fucking Aer Lingus. I can never go in, I can never understand the coats that they make the fucking flight attendants wear in this. Like, look at this shit. Like, man, could you fucking imagine that shit, like? Make him look like fucking Dolly Parton or Marilyn Monroe and then fucking Jack Daniel on the side, like. Like, you're getting an STD off these, like, fucking hell, especially that one. No, 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 not for me. But yeah, that's where I leave this episode of Irish TikTok. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, on the road to 10,000. Hopefully you didn't get offended that uh, if I didn't like your favorite TikTok or if I didn't, like, enjoy the humor, if I didn't like the people or... If I gave, like, or if the people that are actually, that I've critiqued are watching this, I apologize. It's just come from, like, a content point of view. Like, if I find something boring, I'll fucking say it. Like, but no, that Africa joke was fucking class. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like, all that shit. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you for watching. It's long a full.